Let's talk about coaching. I know you work with a lot of different entrepreneurs and, and we talked a little bit about be, being able to, or I guess being more self-aware and, and understanding and not caring what people think. Outside of that, where do you see entrepreneurs struggling the most? We care so much about what people think and that paralyzes us and we don't make any move. Um, so I see so many people who want to do things and they'll either say, oh, I don't know what I want to do, but a little probing, probing and prodding, they know exactly what they want to do. It's all just fear-based because they're scared with how they're going to look, what people are going to say, what it's going to mean, can they do it? So they need this, this helping hand, right? This quote unquote permission that isn't permission at all. It's just getting out of your own way. Like in my story, I knew from day one what I was capable of doing, but I put on all these fronts, all these masks to allow myself to play it safe. And that's what I feel is happening. Whenever I work with someone, they know exactly what they're capable of doing. They're genius. Like we all are. You're brilliant. Just get out of your own way. So figure out what that noise in your head is really about and figure out why you keep perpetuating this false story and belief. I sold myself a, a story as truth for many years that was, was all lies, but that's how, I, that's how I showed up. That's what I needed to do until I learned it and got it differently. So in the entrepreneurial space, uh, we care a great deal of what people are going to say or what they're not going to say. And that just keeps us not moving forward. But I didn't start from, you know, I get up at eight, now I'm going to get up at six. Get up at eight. Now maybe this week I'm going to get up at 7.45, right? Go, do that for a week. And guess what? That's a win. Observe how good you feel because you said something and you committed and you followed through. 